Hi guys, this is Sherby and I am back with another video. This video is going to talk about day four after getting the sleeve, ESG or bariatric sleeve um, surgery, however you want to put it. Guys, I'm going to be so real with y'all. I'm not going to lie. And you know, I am fresh with this pain. So I'll explain to you exactly how I'm feeling right now. Sorry about that. I have to spit. Okay. So, um, um, day one is surgery day. Then I was excited. You guys going to see that on our previous video. I was excited and nervous. I didn't know what to expect. So when they wake me up, um, out of my anesthesia, I was like in and out. I remember they calling me saying, hey, Miss, Miss Bonhomme, are you up? How's your pain? I, I keep telling them my pain is in 20. They said one to 10, I was like 20 because that pain was more than 10, okay? And so I keep falling back asleep. When I got back, back up, guys, I felt this pain, this, I don't know how to explain it. It's like having 20 C-section at once. I don't know if you ever had, or it's like giving birth 20 times at once. Is right there. It sit right there on your chest. It will not either go up. It feel like it's suffocating, like you're having a heart attack. And I keep calling my nurse and I said, I think I'm going to have a heart attack. Like this pain, this pain in my chest. But she keeps saying, Oh, it's just gas pain. You just gotta walk around. It's gonna go. Sorry, guys. One thing you're gonna do to is spitting. So she was just like, um, you're just gonna have to walk around for the guys to go and i said okay cool i was walking around nothing happened i was walking around two to four hours like every two to four hours like they asked nothing happened they keep giving me water and i was sipping on water when you sip on the water guys it's gonna go through this pain right here that was hurting you then it's gonna go through your stomach that's another pain because you know you just had that stomach removal so it's still sore that stuff going on so it's gonna hurt so every time i will swallow a little sip of uh, water i have to hold myself like oh here goes pain number one right here oh pain number two the stomach so day two i was suffering with the pain with the gas pain and i was just like i cannot go home like this i need some type of medication something to kind of like let this guys out because i was not gonna go home suffer like that so um day three they hold me till day three day three they give me some type of um pain medication for the inflammation that was in my tummy and also guys medicine day three i was still walking around i was burping a little bit but not as much okay but um day four come which is today day four um i end up going to my aunt's house i am so thankful and happy that I was able to work something out with the kids and my aunt was able to help me out through the whole thing because she is oh my god she's been my number one support guys no i keep saying that and i said it again and i think i said it in my last couple of videos you need to have a support system you need someone one person that could support you through this surgery because you will not be able to do it by yourself Yes, you can do it by yourself. It's going to be hard, but you're going to need someone there with you. I thought I was going to do that by myself, but I thought I was going to bounce back, you know, and be able to take care of the kids, be able to uh, take care of myself and try to hold the pain down and just, you know, be a trooper. But no, you cannot. It's hard. This is a major surgery. And I was able to work something out with my kid's father and then my you know my aunt was able to help me out and i'm still at her house right now so i'm recording this video in her bathroom so um yes so this is day four day four um the pain kind of like not strong as it was day one and two and three day four i did you know poop and i did let some guys out but i'm noticing the contraction now i'm starting to feel hunger pain i think it's contraction i don't know but it comes it hurts 
like you know when you have a baby it hurts for a quick couple minutes then it goes away like right now i just got one it comes and goes it comes and goes like a contraction then i have back like my back problem like i have a back spasm like back pain i'm starting to have like back pain but um and i spit a lot guys i'm like spitting a lot um because your doctor should um prescribe you some medications and stuff like that so um but yeah like this going so like so far this is the pain like i don't even have i don't even have um the urge to eat or anything like that like my aunt she was just eating some really good um fish and boiled banana and yeah i mean it smelled good but i, I don't have that feeling that i want to eat it you know it's more like pain it's more like pain in my stomach um they told me i have to drink like um 32 ounce of protein and 64 ounce of fluid per day one protein shake guys i can't even drink that one protein shake so i don't know how i'm gonna even do 64 ounce of fluid a day one bottle one water bottle i can't even drink the whole thing in one day so i'm still trying to get water bottle down and also uh protein 32 gram of protein shake down but it's very hard i'm not gonna lie to you and yo that my main pain right now is the stomach pain it does feel like the stomach pain it does feel like your stomach is tearing apart okay that's from all the bruising you know where they put the cuts and stuff so every time you stand up it's gonna hurt you cough it's gonna hurt you smile <coughs> oh see right now <clears throat> right now it hurts to even cough it hurts and also guys if you have to spit and you see a little blood in your spit that is totally normal that is totally normal it's from the um the tubing they put in your throat it would take your um your throat so you're gonna be seeing a lot of um a small little blood and you know so that's that but um this is day four it's better i would say day four is better than day one and two and three i would definitely say that but day four you still experience a lot of different seeing different pains like the contraction pain that was in my chest it wasn't there before it was more like you know gas pain but now it's like a contraction like a hunger pain it comes and it goes it comes and it goes but um i don't know how day five or day six going to be like but i will keep you guys updated um i'm so sorry guys um i do have to spit a lot but um i'm gonna close this video out i will talk to you guys in a week so for this whole week my diet is basically liquid i just gotta drink protein i could have like jello sugar free i could have decaffeinated coffee i could have like protein shakes premiere that's what i'm drinking a lot of water uh, a lot of water and then i could have um like watery oatmeal and watery grits but i don't know how you guys gonna have that because your stomach can't take a lot so um i will see you guys in week one this is day four so i'll see you guys in a couple days and keep you updated if anything change i'll make a video and let you know what's happening but right now um i'm currently at my aunt's house but i'm thinking about going home this weekend because on monday i have to go to work so Anyways, guys, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share. If you know anyone that's going through the same situation that I'm going through, um, share the video. Make sure you subscribe, guys. You know, show some love. Um, I will see you guys later. Bye.